My name is Juliet Eve and I'm a face painter. I've been painting about 20 years or so. Uh, so I'm here at Paradise Wildlife Park today to show you how to paint some popular faces. Right, today I'm going to show you how to do cat makeup. Um, but on Nancy I'll do something a little bit different and maybe I'll do it more like a, a big cat, say a snow leopard. Okay. So, what we're going to do is put a, a base down. I'm going to use a more like a, a metallic white um, and add some silver in to give it a bit of a hint. Sometimes a little bit of gold, which just sometimes they have a brown tinge to their coat as well. Um, I'm going to shade a little bit with some grey. Then when I add the spots, I'll do a kind of two-tone, a bit like the rosettes that we sometimes see in uh, uh, cats, big cats. I'll use quite a strong pigmented black this time. So I'll start with a nose. So when you're doing a, a leopard or a, a cat, um, it's bring it round the nostril shape, as it were, and forward, rather than a dog, which would be right the way across the top. So a cat, just, and do this in the fewest strokes you possibly can. Then it's not quite as tickly underneath. And while the brush is now has been flattened, I've now got a sharp edge, so I'll do, go straight down the centre line, as thin as you can, and form a little A shape under there. And sometimes I bring this line round as well to join it. Just get that nice and tidy. And then, when I do the spots on a snow leopard, um, I actually use my good pot brush. In other words, this is a, uh, it's a number six, it's a round brush um, with a lovely point. Now normally, if I'm doing dots, I would use a, a brush that hasn't got a good point so that I can make nice round dots. But on a, a, a snow leopard, the, the, the dots, the markings are sort of much more of a random shape, so that's why I like to use this. And I just work quite fast with sort of big shapes, little shapes. If you have got young children and it's central part of the design, just get a, a dry tissue and just lay it over the eye, just touch down and lift off and then it's dry in an instant. Right, now we just add some whiskers and the teeth. Make those fangs stand out. So I'm going to use, a, again, a strong white. I've got several whites. I've got a lot which are best for putting bases on. And this white is very strongly pigmented, which is best for line work. And then whiskers, try and plant them. Sometimes it's worth getting into some realism. So I'm trying to actually plant these whiskers roughly where they come from. So nice curved lines if you can. This is a glitter gel. Um, it comes with a little nozzle and you can, you can draw with it and also make whiskers. So again, plant it where they should be. It really highlights them. You don't have to follow the same lines you've done already. So that's how to do cat makeup, uh, snow leopard style. <laughs>